you know, I think there are uh, some potential appointments uh, within USDA that raise uh, a concern about whether or not science is being uh, given the respect that it's entitled to at USDA. And an example is uh, when the Undersecretary for Research, Extension, and Education is identified, that person, in addition to having a massive responsibility of overseeing and managing the science portfolio of USDA at the Agricultural Research Service locations, over nearly 100 of them, but also responsible for the competitive and, and uh, uh, the grant programs that help to fund land-grant universities, uh, publicly financing research that's critically important. But that individual is also the chief scientist for USDA. And the law specifically requires an individual to have that science background. Now, I think when the law was crafted, there was an understanding that the science would be related in some significant way to what the Department of Agriculture is involved in, which is agriculture and rural development. Um, I don't think anybody anticipated that uh, the chief scientist would be an economist by trade or uh, have no real formal background uh, in any of the, the, the sciences that are directly related to agriculture. Uh, the uh, nomination of Mr. Clovis uh, to be the Undersecretary for ex uh, Research Extension Education raises that question now, and, and I, I think there is some concern about whether or not he has the qualifications uh, or the positions on certain issues that would be indicative of support for science. Uh, I know he's raised some serious concerns about climate change, um, and I think the, the science on that is overwhelming, that indeed the climate is changing, that it is leading to more intense weather patterns and higher temperatures and melting snow caps and rising sea levels and more intense storms and longer droughts and even forest fires that, that continue to rage. And so to have somebody as the chief scientist who raises questions about something that is so profoundly uh, important and is certainly supported by the data, does raise some concerns about whether or not this, this administration uh, values science uh, 